This is the cervical rotation test. This, this test is designed to determine the amount of cervical rotation and mobility that a golfer has during the swing. So what I'm gonna have Hayden do is keeping a mouth closed, I want him to rotate his head to the right as far as he can. I'm making sure he doesn't extend or flex too far forward. And what I'm checking to see when he brings his chin down, is he at the mid clavicular level? Uh, Hayden clearly here is at the mid clavicle, so then I'll say he's proficient in that, and now I'm gonna have him rotate to the left. Again, I'm checking to see when he brings his chin down, is he able to get to the mid clavicular line? He is able to do so, so he, again, he's proficient in left sided rotation as well. You may be wondering why does cervical rotation matter in the golf swing unless you've just hit a ball and you wanna watch where it's going? Well, the reason is because in the back swing, as you get to here, the neck position, the cervical position, as I'm looking at the golf ball, this particular position is in the 70 degree plane. In other words, this in the backswing is the same as me looking like this. So I've got 70 degrees of cervical rotation. In the downswing, as you come down and address the ball through the follow through, this position here is the same as me standing here looking to the right. So if you don't have 70 degrees, at least of cervical rotation, you're gonna mimic a thoracic stiffness. You might think your thoracic rotation is off because you physically can't get to that position, causing you to early extend and lose posture. This also can cause neck pain during and after a round of golf. So if you're having any sort of cervical facet arthropathy, cervical degeneration, or any sort of arthritis or arthritic changes, maybe headaches, neck pain, those sort of things, come visit us at Advanced Physical Therapy of Little Rock, North Little Rock in Benton today.